the first day like for you in Los Angeles? You were also fools who were dreaming of making it big in uh, Hollywood. Um, I know my first day, actually, I had lined up a bunch of meetings for myself because I didn't want to get to L.A. and have nothing to do, uh, you know, and say, now, now what? So I had been emailing a bunch of people and trying to line things up. So I remember I went pretty much straight from LAX to meetings and trying to get across the city and realizing how long it takes to get across the city. It takes an hour and a half to get from one side to the other. And it was like a crash course, basically, my first day um, in terms of navigating and um, you know, g getting that first foot in the door, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, movies and whatnot. Justin was very much my, my role model during the, <laughs> during, <laughs> and remains. Uh, so this idea of, of lining up meetings for yourself, moving to LA was, was, was like very, very impressive to me. Um, and I, uh, uh, and I kind of like, I would try to feed off his uh, his industriousness and his ambition um, with with not much success usually, um, but I think uh, so. The very first day in L.A., I mean, I, I I don't think I really did anything. I just remember kind of being sort of feeling like in a daze, just looking at the city, and I had never lived in a city with palm trees, and so that was kind of um, bizarre to me. Um, and uh, coming from the East Coast, but. Um, but yeah, it was it was you know then the sort of coming weeks and months. I mean, it was it was uh, it, L.A. took a while to grow on me. I think I think I was a little uh, I felt a little adrift, and there weren't that many people I knew in the city. Justin was one of them, and it was just uh, um, yeah, it was it was a an acquired taste for me.